This is an example of using a KD tree to do some ray tracing. So first of all, I'm going to start off the uh, renderer itself. So this, first of all, builds the KD tree, which is some information that we're seeing here. On the bottom right hand side here, this is a DirectX rendering of the model itself. And if we move that around, you can see it's a little bit slow. So altogether, there's uh, 1.25 million triangles in this mesh, so just over a million triangles in the Dragon mesh. And this laptop GPU is taking a little bit of time to render that. So I changed the viewpoint and you can see it's taking a little bit of time to catch up. So if I now hit the key to ray trace that, you can see that it actually almost does it immediately. So less than 0.1 of a second. And actually it could render this model at about 20 frames per second using ray tracing. So far faster than the uh, GPU in this graphics card, uh, the graphics card in this laptop can render that model. So the KD tree itself has got half a million nodes and yeah, around half a million leaves. And each one of those leaves stores on average two triangles. So this means that for any ray that's being traced into this model, it will hit at most all the nodes going down the tree. And I think this is built uh, at up to a depth of 24. So it could hit 24 nodes going down the tree until it gets a leaf. And then at the leaf node, it's checked at on average two triangles. So now what I'm going to do is increase um, the display of the nodes in the KD tree. So first of all, we're just seeing the outer bounding box around the model itself. And the KD tree build process selects a splitting plane and splits the model in two. And then triangles, which are on the left, will just be ray traced if you hit the left side, and those on the right will be uh, ray traced if you hit the right side of the model. So during the build process, this continues recursively until we get to the um, recursive limit, which is, I think, about 24 in this case, or until we get to a node which has fewer than, say, six triangles, uh, or we get to something which has no triangles at all, in which case no further splitting takes place, as we can see up here on this empty node. So I'm going to increase the depth of the model itself, but you can see again that the GPU is a little bit slow um, to react and we're adding in more and more line details into that model. So now you can begin to see just how the KD tree adapts to the surface of the object as we get more and more dense. And again, just to sort of uh, realize that perhaps a array over here is being tested just at the, the bounding box and not against anything inside it. Uh, array over here will have hit the top bounding box and would be on the right hand side of the first splitting plane. So then you test in the next uh, level of the tree, whether it's hit something and so on. So for rays in this area, you can see the tree is very deep. And so the ray would be tested against the full hierarchy of the uh, KD tree and get until it gets to a leaf node. And then it would be tested against just a few triangles in that uh, leaf node. So that's what enables the ray tracing to be so quick uh, on that um, on that data structure. So let me just hit the ray tracing key again. I don't know if it's going to do it because I think this is still rendering the node. So it's just catching up with my mouse clicks. Ray trace, and there you go. The view has changed again to that. Uh, so just one other thing: the dragon has got diffuse shading on it. So we see this sort of. Um, looks like a, a plaster or stone dragon lit from yeah, someone over on the sort of front left-hand side with the light shining towards the dragon itself. 